Laganja Estranja, she's looking. Look out. Yeah. Hello, everyone. And welcome to Look It All, the Hate Queen After Show, where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, played with, or even laid with, and <laughs> spills a little tea, or throws a little shade, Ooh. only if she has to, or just tells us something that we don't know. Today, we are with the stunning, the talented, the gorgeous, Laganja Stranja. Oh, thank you for having me. Honey, you made an outfit change, sweetie. Just a little something, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you give us the full view with the moving fringe? Oh, you want to see the Renita veneer as an action? Yes, we do. Oh, okay, well, don't ask me once, honey. Ha, uh, ha, uh, ha, uh, ha. Uh, okay. Woo, honey. Yes, oh. <laughs> stunning. Clap Just a little, around. Just a little <laughs> something, you know. I figured it was my fourth time here. I better bring two looks. That's right. Yeah, you can't look at her unless you look at her. Hello? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. Laganja, you've been here before more than any other queen, really. It's a very, very select view of been here as many times as you have, and we're always grateful to have you back. Well, you know I'm ready for the... Milky! Yeah. I know how you do, Johnny! I know how you do! I was waiting for this section. I said, oh, that was very cute. That was very lovely, but where's the tea? I know my friend Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep it interesting, sweetie. Yeah, let me go ahead and finish this tea before we get into this section. That's right. So I can really give it to the dolls. Truth <laughs> juice is delicious. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, Laganja, you definitely know how to play this game. I do. And you always come correct. Adam and Erica, are you excited to see this doll do it live <laughs> and in person? Are we excited, girls? We're ready for her to spill. I can't wait to see her look at all the huzz. That's correct. Well, let us not wait any longer. Let us begin. Look at her. Oh. Manila Lazan. Now, you just visited with her uh, a little while ago on the pit stop. That's right. That's right. You know, I love that we started with her because I actually love her. So we're starting off good, uh -huh. you know, even ground. Right. I think Manila is an incredible artist. I really love her unique style of drag. I love the way that she's able to bring looks to life. You know, she thinks of a manila folder, and then brings that into life in an outfit. So I love that she's kind of kitschy, but always keeps it couture. Now, do you still watch Drag Race? I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of Drag Race, so I need you to be more specific okay. when you did ask you that watch, question. Did you watch All Stars with Manila? <laughs> yes, I absolutely watched All Stars. And what did you think of that whole uh, performance? Those looks were incredible, and her exit was dramatic. She turned it, first and foremost, that gray look that she gave us. I'll mm. never forget it. I mean, it was so beautiful. She just posted it recently on her Instagram. Um, I thought she did amazing. I really do. I feel like she showed how she has grown, but also she showed that, like, I've been that bitch, I've been that bitch since always. You know what I mean? Yeah. She didn't, she didn't show you a new character. She didn't try to be something that she's not. She just went on and was herself because, quite honestly, that's fierce. Now, I've heard a rumor that they ask you every year whether you want to be on All Stars, and you always say, no, thank you, but thank you. Well, that's sort of true and sort of not. <laughs> uh, many years I have had, many years I have said no, but there have been some years I've said yes. Mm. Uh, one year I said yes. In fact, it was the year that Gia went on. And due to the fact that they did not have a complete consensus from my psychological exam, oh. there was some interesting information that needed to be uh, divulged in order for them to feel comfortable as a company, and I disagreed with that. So ultimately, mm. I was not on that season of Drag Race. But what I do want to say is, the fact that I am asked back every year means the world to me. I truly would not be here if it wasn't for World of Wonder, and that's why I've tried to stress to them the many years that even though I don't want to participate as a competitor, I want to participate as a lip sync assassin, as a choreographer. You know, I still want to participate. I love the brand. It's just for me being a competitor, not, that doesn't work for her. 
And do you still have PTSD from your original season? Because, honey, you guys, we know from your very first appearance that was very traumatic. People were hardcore. Now it's more normal that people get that hardcore response that's sad yeah. but true. Like, what happened to you has happened to countless queens since you. And I'm so lucky that when it was happening, you know, one of the worst things I ever received was the fact that my father had given me HIV. There was mm. a video on YouTube made about this that unfortunately he saw. Um, but that was like kind of the worst that I had gotten. Now people are told to kill themselves. So luckily I didn't face uh, as much, um, I didn't face as much critique as the dolls do now, but it was still difficult for me back in 2014 when I was receiving those negative critiques. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed. We'll see you on All Stars because I know you would slay the look up. <laughs> Heidi Klum. I'm so glad you included her. I really am because I want to talk about how much I love her. I have worked with so many celebrities that shall not be named, but if you look at my resume, you will know exactly who I'm talking about. And I have felt like a prize package to them, right? Mm. They use me when it's lovely, and then when it's over, girl, we're on to the next prize. Whereas Heidi has been my friend. She has incorporated me. She has... Mm, what's the words I'm looking for? She has used me, not used me, that's not good either. She is incorporated as best, I guess. She has incorporated me in numerous shows of hers. Not only was I the finale closing of her show, Queen of Drags, but I've also worked with her on, I've also worked with her on Germany's Next Top Model twice now. And what I love about Heidi is that she's really a friend. She checks my Instagram story all the time. We DM, we have each other's numbers. She's the only celebrity to ever send me a gift for Christmas. Oh, I got a wow. Versace backpack from Ooh, the Heidi Klum. Damn! And I just feel like she is a real person. You know, I think a lot of times in Hollywood, celebrities get so lost in who they are and their whole, you know, empire. Whereas I can honestly say with all of my heart, Heidi is a real person. Bitch, she's a real person. She loves the gays, she loves drag, and that's why when Germany was so against her creating Germany's Next Top Model, I was so vocal to let them know that that's not true. She loves drag, she's loved drag forever. I mean, you look at her Halloween you know, uh, parties that she's been throwing for years, she is the queen of transformation. She undergoes 12 hours yeah. minimum to be transformed into her looks for Halloween. So clearly, she has an appreciation for the drag community. And I just feel really lucky that of all the queens she could have chosen from, she chose me. Now, what was Queen of Drags? I'd never even heard of that before. So Queen of Drags was her version of RuPaul's Drag Race, which I think, you know, garnished some flack from uh -huh. several other people. <laughs> right. uh, but basically, uh, it was very much like Drag Race. A little different, of course. It showed a lot more in-depth work in the workroom and was more about the girl's journey, less about the drama, mm -hmm. although there was drama. And yeah, she brought me on to be the grand finale of her first ever season one. And I got to perform my original song, Look At Me. And that, again, just speaks to who she is as a person. You know, they had some issues on production. They didn't know if the song would be cleared. And Heidi fought for me to be able to perform my own music. And uh, I just think that's so amazing. And that, that's who I look up to. I, I want to be a celebrity like her. I want to be a person of you know, who's in power, but give that power to other people because isn't that the whole point of being successful? I mean, look at you with this show. You tell other people's stories with your success. And I think that's truly what makes not only an artist, but a real celebrity in my mind. Because anyone these days can look gorgeous and flood about in a look, but it takes a real human to celebrate others with their platform. God bless Miss Heidi Klum. You have excellent taste. Look <laughs> Alaska. Now you toured with her for the Twisted Circus Tour. You're being good to me. These are all people I like. I'm like, I'm waiting for the bitch who's gonna get me turned and have to finish my drink. No, Alaska's amazing. Alaska and I have worked together numerous times. In fact, I would, I would say she's the only RuPaul's Drag Race sister, besides of course the House of Edwards, to really include me in her projects. I've worked with Alaska on Give me all your money. She's flown me to Chicago. She flew me to New York. I mean, Alaska loves me. And to have a sister that supports me in that way, it's unlike anything I've ever experienced. I really do believe she is the number one RuPaul's Drag Race fan. And she will do whatever she can with her platform to celebrate not just herself, but everyone else involved. I mean, she knows quotes from season one. 
Like she is truly a die hard fan. So to, to have her approval and to have her want me to be a part of her projects, it's amazing. And we can never forget her classic Laganja walking in nature video. <laughs> yes. That was fantastic. Well, and you know what? Let's go ahead and clear the air while we're here because lots of people want to know this. You know, I was known for saying, okay, on RuPaul's Drag Race. Mm -hmm. Now everyone knows me for the oh, like Cardi B. But in real truth, if we want to break it down, that was Alaska. Ah. Alaska started that with that video. I don't think I ever rolled my R's on RuPaul's Drag Race, but she took it to the next level. And because she was impersonating me, it came back to me. So that's been amazing and I love that, but I do want to give props to my mama <laughs> for the fact that she was the one to really roll the R's first. Fantastic, the T has already been spelled. I know, we're not even halfway in. <laughs> Children, click here, click here, and subscribe. You're welcome.